Sometimes you eat more than you should. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this for a little while now. I've got this idea all cooked up. I've got my buddy, Mr. Price. Mr. Price and I, we got a little bit of a history. We go back quite a few years, all the way back to the Modern Warfare 2 days. If anybody gamers out there will run up as when that is. So we used to chat online. We were in the same clan together. And so over the years, we developed quite this really cool, unique friendship. Oh, don't do that. Oh, thumbs up, friend. That, uh. He mails me up packages, I am going to mail him down a package, as you'll see today. But, uh, yeah, so he's been pretty famous for sending me, like, your good hot sauces, your tapatio, things like that. The, you know, the necessities in life. Right on. I, one time I went down to see him there in California, and we were hanging out. Just check out this picture right here. Yeah, that was me before I managed to find all this weight. I just run the marathon there, and... I know it looks like I'm a little bit inebriated because I probably am, but I digress. Let's move on to what I call, yeah right, Mr. Price. The reasoning behind yeah right, Mr. Price is he is going to send me random items in the mail. And what I'm going to do, I haven't opened it up, I'm going to review them. That easy. So really, this segment here is really up to Mr. Price. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm the first contestant right on. So what did I win? Grab my little handy X-Acto knife here. Here it is. Wow, look at this. Do you know what this means? Holy crap. $15.50 to mail this to me. I didn't realize that Mr. Price was so affluent. So he sent me some hot sauce. Hot sauce? Need a new outfit. There we go. A little more appropriate than reviewing hot sauce. So what did he send me today, Mr. Price? Professor Fart Pounders Colon Cleanser. New and improved, all natural. Hot sauce. Extractum of Capsaicum Extremis. Wow. All right, well, it comes in a little glass bottle here. It's um, 5.7 fluid ounces or 1.7 milliliters. The ingredients are red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, distilled vinegar, sea salt, white wine, nice, uh, citric acid, some other stuff, spices, there it is, yellow mustard, vinegar, salt, natural sugar, onions, habanero pepper. Yeah, there they are. That's a lot. Uh, garlic spices and some gum. No preservatives. Refrigerate after opening. Manufactured by Sauce Crafters of Riviera Beach, Florida. Damn it. Florida. A little more Del Boca Vista. Are you trying to keep us out of Del Boca right. Vista? So it says people say our new and improved all natural colon cleaning hot spice works better than the original formula. Sorry, I won't be able to uh, let you know about that because I've never tried the original formula, but apparently this one is superior. Uh, they say that uh, it cures the common cold and even the flu. Nice, that's good to know. One old man said that after he ate some with his eggs, he remembered his wife's name. Holy crap. Does it say anything about recognizing if she got a new haircut? Others say it just makes them feel good all over. Uh, we don't know if these claims are true, but we do know that it's absolutely delicious. It's all natural, with no preservatives, made with pride right here in the USA. Okay, well, we're not in the USA, but it came from the USA, so obviously. So the little glass bottle, as I said, is about a what 5.7 ounces the cool thing is it's pretty curved here so you can uh, you know fit it in your back pocket like if you're you know going to a barbecue or something like that that is handy that is really really handy 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 handy, handy. you gotta say 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this bad boy open right now. Probably should have used my pocket knife again. Oh, son of Jarrell! Kneel before son! Snoochie boochies! <laughs> okay. Upon cracking her open, she seems to be a bit of a brown color. Oh, it actually has a really nice smell to it. <sighs> Cleanse the palate. <sighs> okay. That's um, quite a thick hot sauce. I got a good amount there. I mean, I really want to test it and let you guys know truly how it tastes. Again, it smells delicious. Well, here it goes. I'll let you know. It's got a soft, subtle hint. You can uh, taste the spice. Almost <coughs> like a, I want to say a fruity flavor, but yeah, that's definitely some type of fruit. The habaneros are kicking in, though. Nope. Holy sweet Jeebus. Um, it, it actually has a really nice flavor. Oh, oh. um. <coughs> Gee, holy Mr. Price, you're trying to freaking kill me, man. It's a, uh, it's actually quite sweet when you, when you really get into it. Um, <clears throat> on eggs, I, I don't know. I could really see it on chicken or something like that. <clears throat> I need a sip of water. Ugh. Oh yeah, that kind of. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I, I think it's quite good. It's actually got a, a decent flavor to it. I'm just gonna fill that up to stop me from eating more. Okay, so is it worth getting? I I would say so. It's uh, it's quite good. It's got a little bit of a but a bit of a sting to it. Uh, uh. Whew. <sighs> Thanks, Mr. Price. I owe you one. Now, uh, these are the items that I'm going to be sending to him. Because I'm not as nice as he is. An arrow bar. Oh. Oh Christ! It's um, it's like a little lamb, like because it's Easter right now. Hotkins cheesies. Every good Canadian knows what Hotkins cheesies are. Huh. I like the guy so much. Two bags. Some Yukon birch syrup. Everybody knows Canadians like maple syrup. It's like Canadian back bacon. It's kind of the thing, right, around here. But hey, secret to the world, Canadian back bacon, it's really just ham. I just, yeah, I know. We've been, we've been lying to you for a thousand years. But anyways. And a coffee crisp bar. So that's my care package to, to Mr. Price. I hope he enjoys it. And, uh... Uh, catch you again next time he sends me something else right on thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe that way you're not going to miss out any of the action and shenanigans that i've got planned all summer i keep coming up with these crazy stupid ideas <coughs> and uh yeah comment down below any ideas anybody got some canadian candy that i think i should send to mr price Please let me know. I struggled to find this, what's truly Canadian, because I found that a lot of the stuff that we get in Canada is really, truly based on English stuff. Thanks for watching. You guys have an awesome day. Talk to you later.